Well, it's Friday. It's time to find a good movie to watch. Oh, it's been so hot. We need to go into a nice, cool movie theater. And we have our movie buddy, Jackson Murphy, from lights-camera-jackson.com. How are you? Hello, Randy. Good to see you. Doing oh, great. Man, we've got a lot of movies to talk about here today. We, we yeah. start out with a, a couple of animated movies. These are your favorites. What do you got? <laughs> I enjoyed both of these. I think families will as well to watch at home. The first is Luck, which is on Apple TV+. Plus. It's a sweet, sincere, G-rated animated adventure about Sam, the unluckiest girl in the world who ends up in the land of luck and everything I think is going to turn around for her and many others. Voice cast includes Simon Pegg, Whoopi Goldberg, Jane Fonda is great as a dragon, and John Ratzenberger shows up as a character in the third act. I think he's really funny. Uh, I talked with the director of that, Peggy Holmes. Uh, uh, very nice talking with her and also spoke with the directors of Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, which is on Netflix. And this is the feature film version of the Nickelodeon animated series with a very cool hand-drawn look to the turtles who are trying to save the day. Those Q&As with those directors are at animationscoop.com and I got some clips on my YouTube channel as well, but check out those animated movies. Those are good. Okay, we'll post those up on our blog too when we put the uh, trailers to all these movies at 995theriver.com. He's back, Brad Pitt is back. Uh -oh. Bullet Train, yeah, I know, I know. It's not very good. Bullet Train, it's in the theaters. He plays an assassin who is on board this bullet train. His goal is to get a briefcase and then get off. But others make it very difficult for him to get off because they want the briefcase as well. It's very typical ultra violence. The characters are annoying. The action is, the music choices are, the humor is also annoying. You do feel like you're trapped with these people for two hours and six minutes. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. There's so many backstories and side stories and so much explanatory dialogue and a few unnecessary cameos in this. Yeah, not a fan, unfortunately, of Bullet Train. All right, we're talking to Jackson Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer. There's a new thriller out. How's this one? Well, Prey, this is on Hulu. Now, the premise is it's 1719, Native American tribe, especially young woman, and they're going to come face to face with the Predator. That's right. This ends up being a Predator movie. It's the most ridiculous premise of the year. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. The execution of this is very mediocre. I didn't think it was ever going to end. It's not scary or exciting. I, I Speechless. Left me speechless often while watching this prey on Hulu. Okay. All right. We got a comedy. Maybe that's what they're going for. There's a new comedy out. What, what do we got here? In the theaters, Easter Sunday, it stars Joe Coy, comedian, and his character's outrageous Easter Sunday with his Filipino-American family. Now, if you like network sitcoms that have wacky antics, comedic family fights, and celebrity guest stars, that's what this movie basically is. It's four episodes of a network sitcom. So if that's your cup of tea, you might enjoy this. If it's not, probably a pass. Okay. Now, I always love a good documentary. Do we have a good documentary? We do. Now, Randy, are you a fan of the iconic television series, Candid Camera? Did you watch it? Uh, I, I've seen, you know, bits and pieces of it, and uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, and it paved the way for AFV and Punked and, and Impractical Jokers and so many of the shows nowadays. Candid Camera was the first true reality show on network television. And this documentary, Mr. Candid Camera, is all about the series with the classic clips and its creator, Alan Funt. And it's directed and narrated by his son, Peter Funt. And you get fascinating insights into the making of the show, into Alan's life, new interviews with Carol Burnett, Howie Mandel, and more. I enjoy this. If you like classic TV, watch Mr. Candid Camera, available on digital platforms. All right. Jackson Murphy, our favorite movie reviewer. We're going to put up all the trailers from these movies at 99.5theriver.com and some, some of Jackson's interviews. Where can people find your stuff? Lights-camera-jackson.com plus Twitter at LCJ Reviews and Instagram at Lights Cam Jackson. Excellent. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you next week. Appreciate it. Thank you.